You're back, I'm back, and here's what's coming up next, guys. Now, earlier in the show, we got a taste of what photographer Nathaniel Butler has captured in his 30 plus years in the NBA, but what about his favorite moments? Well, we got those too. Check it out. LeBron, his first year when he won MVP, and he wanted to have the, the ceremony uh, back at his St. Vincent, St. Mary, the high school. And we hung out a little bit prior to the ceremony, and he was walking up and down the halls of the school. He knew the teachers by name, the custodians by name. I was like, it's pretty cool. And then we went into the locker room. We took a, a cool portrait of him. He was just sitting on a wooden bench in his high school locker. Uh, locker room with the MVP trophy and it was pretty pretty cool and pretty humbling and then he just walked out and gave this incredible speech to all the kids and it's really it was really remarkable Tim Duncan we did a feature with him at in St. Croix his, his hometown and they played their high school games it was an outside court and I was like what like his, yeah, they don't have a gym inside. The weather's usually nice. And it was so cool because Duncan was known for his bank shot. And he said the reason he developed that shot, because whenever there was a wind in St. Croix, it helped to go off the backboard. Like, that makes sense. It was a clinching game for the Spurs. Security was out and they're laying the rope so the fans don't jump on the court and I'm getting ready, okay, do I go to Duncan, do I go to Pop, like when they win, and then... James catches, puts up a three, won't go, rebound, Bosch. Bosch gets a rebound, kicks it to the corner, I'm like, ah! Back out to Allen, his three-pointer, bang! Tie game with five seconds remaining! That shot, that was a big shot. And again, a little bit of luck, just be prepared, that shot changed history. LeBron goes to Miami, they only win one and not two. The Spurs win another one. It's kind of crazy. So a little bit of, again, being in the right place at the right time. The crazy thing about the, the Bill Russell, the famous story, 10 fingers but 11 rings, you know, so we did it like this. But he doesn't have 11 rings. We borrowed other people's rings because back in the day, they didn't get rings for every year. One year they got cufflinks, one year they got, there's all kinds of crazy like rumors and, and folklore, what did you actually get? I think there was a T set, like you win an NBA championship and win a T and they're like, what? But it, it wasn't, for visual, everyone thinks rings. So we posed with the rings and it was great, but it was tricky to shoot because I, um, I'm shooting a, a tight portrait of him and he has such a recognizable face, but trying at the same time, we're blurring out some of the rings because it was other members of different teams and different years. I still really love it, um, and I'll, I'll do it as long as they'll, uh, they'll allow me to do it. The game uh, is still a game that I love. I think the athletes are incredible. Um, it's, it's amazing how hard they work. I like to tell that story a little bit too. You know, I love doing the behind the scenes, like the workout things, and the average people, they have no idea what goes into how hard these guys work. Um, and, you know, it, it's fun for me to be around them and I get inspired from them, you know? So I, I, uh, I like to keep going. All these guys now are, are eating healthier, working out, and I'm trying to take some little tidbits from, from them, you know, to just, just keep it going.